How's it going, dudes? I've uh, I've been posting a lot of my GTA SA uh, Half Life movement runs on YouTube, and there's been a lot of questions about how to set up the mod. And I don't really think that there's any actual tutorial anywhere on how to set it up, but it's very simple. So I'm just gonna do like a rundown of what you have to do. And I'm by no means an expert, by the way. So if you are having issues outside of what I do in this tutorial, I may not be able to help, but I'll definitely do my best. So the first thing you need to do is you need to downgrade your Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Basically, um, these files, I would not recommend downgrading into your Steam. Uh, I would I would like copy this, make a new folder, and then downgrade it in there. I'm not going to show how to downgrade it because there's like a hundred tutorials. So just look up a tutorial to downgrade it to 1.0 or 1. Uh, I think 1.01 .01 is what I use. But anyway, um, so this is going to be... Let's see. Let me go back here. All right. So I'll lay it all out here. So this is... Okay, that's my Steam folder. All right. So this is basically my downgraded folder. This is a fresh downgraded folder. No mods added. We have two different ways that you can do this. So the first way you can do it is you can go on Zalika's website. And under Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, you'll see the download right here. And that's basically going to be this... Let's see, that's going to be this here. So you would extract this. And then inside of this folder, you have these files here. Now it's very simple. All you do, or all you would have to do, is take your downgraded folder and drag these files in. If you're not using Clio, which I I'm not, open this folder and drag the base in as well like that. But another thing we did, well really, another thing Zalika did, was Zalika made this quick setup pack, which I would highly recommend, and I'm gonna have a link to it in the description. So what you could do with this is this is basically the Zalika's mod, including all of the mods that would, would help make the game run a little better. So this is just basically all the mods that you can download, like silent patch, widescreen fix, stuff to just make the quality of the game overall better. So I would recommend using this, but if you already have your own like downgraded GTA folder, you can do this yourself. So anyway, I'm gonna go for the sake of you know showing this off. I'm gonna uh, do the quick setup pack. So basically, take your fresh downgraded GTA and drag this entire folder in there. These are all the mods. So like this is the game there, and then these are the mods. So just replace everything in there, and then the game should launch. All right, and when you launch the game, you should be able to tell right away whether or not the mod worked because uh, you'll see your units per second at the bottom middle. Um, so if you see that, you're good to go. You got it to work. So anyway, so that's the that's the that's basically the installation part of it. Um, now, as far as tweaking your settings, everything is controlled within the menu at the top left, and you can open it with F7. So F7 opens up the menu, and... Basically, there's a few things that I'll run through. Um, you could display your statistics here, which will basically show your settings. Uh, it, it's pretty helpful. Um, I usually keep it off, though, because I usually have my live split there. Um, you've got your different presets here. We play Half-Life 2 with HL1 B-Hops, basically, which is um, mixed B-Hop plus ABH movement. Uh, you can go through here and tweak the settings in game if you want to just play around like you can just put your jump height at whatever like a ridiculous amount whatever um but we doing the speed run we pretty much play within the parameters of half-life one or half-life two settings so to see that you can go to this here z half-life sa configuration and in here you can actually tweak all your settings to where whenever you start the game it'll launch with these settings so hold on let me move this keyboard all right so as you can see here i i play with half-life one settings so i've got my half-life one default which is 800 for my sv uh gravity and then my jump height's 45 and my move speed is 320 which is half-life value so basically you could see if you want half-life one values or half-life two values based on what the default is and whether you want to change it to this uh i already did this before so um you can kind of see what my settings are. I also use a uh, 50 air acceleration to um, kind of like 
it, it scales better with the movement of this game because you go like 10 to 20,000 units per second. And the default, which is 10, is kind of based on the 2,000 units per second cap. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, this is where you would do all this stuff. And you could change however you want it. And then when you're done, hit save. And then when you launch the game, you should have your settings stored in here. Um, okay, working the menu. So I already mentioned that you can open and close it with F7. And then you basically toggle everything with the numpad. As you can see, two is down, eight is up. Um, you enter stuff with five. Uh, you can go back with zero and all that stuff. Um, but that's basically all it is, really. It's all worked with the numpad and F7. There's a button to toggle on and off the movement, which is Control Q. That'll toggle off Half-Life movement. Um, you actually need to do that a few times because sometimes when you're in a mission bubble, um, it, it'll bug out and it won't like pick up that you're in the circle unless you like tab into, you know, whatever this movement and then you can just go right back into it. Um, so that's basically how that works. Oh, you could no clip with V. Um, so if you want to fly around, you could just tap V, turn it off with V again, whatever. Um, so that's, that's, that's pretty much, uh, a rundown of the mod, um. I guess one thing I want to mention while I'm, I'm making this, uh, a lot of people aren't familiar with Half-Life movement, so I just want to kind of explain briefly what the fuck is even happening, because I'm sure a lot of people are very confused by what they're seeing. But basically, in Half-Life 1, you have what's called bunny hopping, and bunny hopping is when you use your left and right momentum mixed with left and right uh, looking, basically, to build speed with hops in between. Oh, also, another thing I want to mention, holding space, the game has auto hop, so you do not have to time your hops or scroll hop. And trust me, like scroll hopping in this game would break your fucking finger. <laughs> so if anybody's, it, there's no shame in auto hopping. Like you, this, this, it's a it's a five hour speed run. So just you know, use auto hop. And uh, basically, there's tutorials to bunny hop online, by the way. So you can just honestly just use that. Uh, but yeah, it's basically just, uh, as you can see, when I'm going left, I hold A. When I'm going right, I hold D. And you slowly build speed like that. Now, um, what I do to gain extreme amounts of speed is I use the Half-Life 2 mechanic, which is accelerated back hopping. And the way accelerated back hopping works is when you duck and you turn around and start jumping backwards, the game will just start like doubling your speed over and over and over. So you go exponentially faster with every hop. So it looks like this basically. You see how my speed is just gaining and gaining and gaining. It's actually hard to see because this is like the traditional way people used to accelerate a back hop. Um, but that's basically what it's doing is it's basically speeding you up, uh, you know, when you're going backwards. There's a few ways to do it. You can do it like that, which I really wouldn't recommend. Um, Another way you can do it is you can either hold A and S or D and S, and that kind of tricks the game into thinking you're going backwards, but you're really looking forward. So it looks like this, basically. It's helpful a lot, to be honest, but you basically, you do almost like a sideways accelerated back up, but you're still holding S. So the game thinks that, you know, you're, you're going backwards. Um, now, the really fast way to accelerate back up which is unique to really this GTA mod. It's really fucking fun and it's really broken. But the way it works is Stereo Bucket found this, by the way. Shout out to Stereo Bucket. If you go to your foot controls and you put um, an easily pressed key for your look behind, I use C, you'll instantly turn around. Now, what this means basically is you can look forward, right? You could build speed going forward and then tap C to turn around instantly. And that is making the game thinking that it basically turns you around completely. And it, it basically does an automatic accelerated back hop while you're looking forward. So you could focus on what's in front of you and tap look behind. And as you can see, you just get a ridiculous amount of speed basically. So really like um, long story short, what you're basically doing is you're using Half-Life 2 movement, accelerated back hopping to gain speed, and then you're controlling it with bunny hopping, which is the Half-Life 1 mechanic. So that's why we call it Half-Life movement, not just Half-Life 1 or Half-Life 2 movement, because it's 
it's really both games, both engines. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's really fun regardless of just speed running it. Like just jumping around, messing with the movement is just like, I mean, like when I first found this mod, I spent like the first week on stream just just bunny hopping around. I didn't even play the game, and then we kind of thought fuck, maybe we can speed run this. So that's how we ended up. But uh, anyway, if anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, I'll do my best to help. But like I said, I'm really not an expert with this stuff. I'm just, I, I guess there, since there really isn't a resource for this, I figured I would be the one to try. So, so anyway, I wanted to end this by saying, please subscribe to Zalika's Patreon. Zalika does amazing things for the Half-Life community and the GTA community, along with a lot of other communities. So, I mean, there is there is thousands of hours of joy that people are getting out of Zalika's work. So please support Zalika. Subscribe to their Patreon. Uh, also, you could follow me on Twitch if you want. We I stream very, very often. We do community events. Um, lots of good times. I'm going to be streaming tons of runs, and obviously I'm, I'm not going to stop running this game anytime soon. So... Yeah, definitely join us. I hope you guys get the mod working. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for taking interest in the mod. And I, I hope I hope everything works out. <laughs> and have a good time, guys. Peace.